Hello and welcome back to episode 3 of my Brentford Football Manager 2020 playthrough uh, attempting a money ball approach. Uh, just to catch you up with what's been going on, I know I said I might come back for the Burnley game and as you can see I've played that one and beyond that and we actually drew 1-1 and then beat them on penalties which has taken us through to the EFL Cup fourth round which play Aston Villa. But first, I wanted to do the QPR game because it's a big rival for Brentford. So today we'll do the QPR and Aston Villa games. And so and so, it's um, it's going well. We've had a, a blip against Notts Forest. We lost 2-1 away to them. But we're conceding goals, but at the same time we're scoring goals, mainly winning games. It's not looking too bad. Quick look at the league table. We're in second, 26 points equal with West Brom. Uh, but that said, it is fairly close at the top still. But we're where we should be. But having a look at today's game. The match against QPR, we're going to go with usual formation. But Raya in goal. Henry, Pinnock, Janssen and Dalsgaard making up back four. Norgaard as the deep line playmaker in front of them. With De Silva and Jensen partnering in midfield. But Watkins playing out on the left this time with Mbwema on the right hand side with fours up front. Uh, that's because we've got an injury to quite a few players again. We've got Fosu, Karelis, Benrama, and two all out injured. Let's see how we get on today against QPR. So it looks like QPR are matching us in a 4 1 2 3 formation, uh, which shouldn't be too much of an issue. But the only Team talk here is something to give the fans to cheer about, given it's such a big derby. And let's get this game kicked off. I mean, despite being away from home, I would like to think that we will dominate possession. Uh, we seem to be one of the better teams in the league. We've had a lot of possession in the games. So hopefully, we can keep hold of the ball, create some chances, and have a good going. That said, it was QPO with the first highlight. Uh, they are taking most of the possession at the moment, but we are still early on, and it's their highlight again, playing out from the back. Now, unfortunately, they've done that successfully, despite the high pressing that we are using. Dalsgaard managed to receive the ball and play it over to Pinnock. Watkins sees Jensen. Can he square it into the middle? He goes alone, but it's a narrow angle and Kelly saves. But we do have a corner. A corner whipped in from Jensen. Norgard on the edge of the area. De Silva. Jensen again. Can we get a shot off? Pinnock. De Silva. No, nope. we seem to be going backwards and the highlight just comes to an end. Elsgard with a long throw to force. Centres it. Watkins is there. Header. Oh, and he's hit the post. How unlucky. That was a great header from Watkins. But the highlight's still going. Dalsgaard, Watkins. Oh, fantastic volley first time. Rifles into the back of the net. And that's goal number four for the season from Ollie Watkins. Hopefully we can get him into 20, 30 goals this season. Dalgard force. This be a repeat and Wemmer force Dalgard seeks out Watkins header oh, great save was it the post post now I have been trying to play Watkins down the middle um, to make room for Bueno and Ben Rama hopefully they were going to light up the wings but it doesn't seem that way although Watkins is having a good game on the left so maybe. That's where he will end up playing. Make it to half time, 1 0. And I'm happy with how things are going, but I think we've got to guard against complacency. We're not playing the best game we've ever played. I think we'll go with that. It's motivated the team, focused. And then more of the same, please. Oh, 
you know, despite being a massive derby, QPR is something that we should be winning. And of course, I've opened my mouth and Eze has just smashed it into the top corner. Talk about the commentator's curse. Not really sure what happened here. There's no pressure on the ball. He gives him it back. And it's just too easy. Absolutely ridiculous. We're going to ask for creativity because we're still in this. Creating chances. Not as free flowing as I like. Um, so 66 minutes. Let's, let's see what we can do to change this. I think I will push Watkins forward into that complete forward role. And that means we can bring Valencia on this left hand side. Again, if I'm is not having a good game at all. So we'll make a double substitution, change the wingers. Do we go attacking? Yeah, let's go attacking. I want to win this. Still no highlights. One final throw of the dice. And we've got players tiring. Norgard's apprehensive. Uh, what do we do? What do we do? Jensen can play this deep line playmaker also. If we push Norgard up, bring on Macron Des. Have him as an attacking midfielder. I think if we go for a shadow strike, we'll really push on. Play a little bit more direct. And let's see what we can do in these last 10 minutes. Last, last couple of minutes of passion, the team's fired up. Can we do anything? Doesn't look like it. It just fizzles out to a score draw. Big derby. Should really be doing better. Yeah, I'm going to tell them that I'm not happy with that. And they seem to agree. So on to the next game, Aston Villa. So a couple of changes for the Aston Villa game. Uh, we're going with Gunnarsson in goal. Henry, Jean-Vier, Janssen and Dalsgaard at the back. Norgard, Baptiste and Jensen in midfield. And then a front three of Valencia and Bueno and Watkins leading the line. Uh, let's just... Changing back to a complete forward. Remember this is the fourth round of the English League Cup. We're expected to make the third round, so anything further than this is a bonus. And that's a strong looking Villa team that are lining up a 4-2-3-1. But I think I think that's correct. Let's go out and prove a point, see what we can do. Got nothing to lose here today. We're at home, give it our best shot. And see what happens. We're 10 minutes in. It's looking fairly even. Nothing to speak of as yet. Got the lion's share of possession. And uh, we start off with the first highlights. Valencia coming down this left hand side. Can he get it into the middle? He plays it square to Jensen. Back to Valencia. Hits it off and he struck the foot of the post. That was a good effort from Valencia. That's what we want to see. Uh, by the look of things, we've got five shots to their one, three on target. Just need to convert one now. That's the next step. But so far, so good in this first half. It's looking like we're the stronger of the two teams so far. Uh, I think more of the same. Happy with how things are going. To keep it going. Now so with a long ball down that left hand side that's picked up. Dalsgaard, Norgard and Buena. Can he carry it? He does. Let's see what he can do. He plays it to Watkins. Avoids one challenge. Hits it. Oh! It's in. That's the fifth goal of the season for Ollie Watkins. It's a fairly soft one to be honest but uh, I'll take it. And we're 1 0 up. And that's an assist for Mbwena and a goal for Watkins. Two key players of this team. 
I'm happy to see them contributing. We've got Janssen over a free kick to Dalsgaard. Janssen all the way back to Raya. Apologies to Gunnarsson. John Vier. Janssen. Down this right hand side, and Bueno, there's an overlap on. Can we find the overlap? We can. It's Dalsberg. And Bueno, and he's hit the post. I tell you what, we've got Villa under pressure, and they're not even interested anymore. I'm going to make a couple of substitutions, just freshen things up. Let's bring on. Who do we bring on? I think Macron does for Jensen, who's tiring a little bit, but nothing too bad and since he hit the post in the first half not see much of Valencia so I think if we bring Canos on this left hand side as an inverted winger let's see what he can do over here for a change and after that substitution Villa decided they're fired up But they've got highlight starting far back in their half. We've managed to get the ball back on the halfway line with Jean Vier out to Canos. An easy turnover for both teams there. Baptiste. And, uh, I like how we're knocking this around. Looking superior to a Premier League team here. Canos, and that's a good save from Heaton. And we've got a corner. See how this corner plays out, and we'll look at making our third substitution. And uh, I don't want to tighten things up too much and give the ball away, but I do want to see us over the line here. And we've got Dalsgaard and Henry both full backs tiring here. And as soon as I've got right back on the bench, we'll just make a straight swap. Bring Rorislev on for Dalsgaard. And I'm actually not going to make any tactical changes. I'm just praise the boys. So they're doing a good job out there. There's nothing coming from Villa threatening our goal so far. We've got Grealish looks to release right. And again, as I said, there's nothing happening. They hit us on the counter attack. And we've had a good 80 minutes. And first real opportunity they get in the back of the net and that's that's the difference between the championship and the Premier League and we've been punished hopefully we're not going to be punished again Gunnarsson with good pluck out of the air there here's the one last chance for us look Jansen back to Gunnarsson can we get this ball forward Norgard Jansen have a look, can we get it down this right hand side and boy, is there anybody in the middle for him? He does centre it. Oh, Canos, I thought it was in. I thought that was it. We've got a penalty. Is it? We do, we've got a penalty. And boy, I think number 19, or is it Watkins? Yes, and boy, has the chance to finish it here. One on one with Tom Heaton. Yes, in the bottom corner. It's 2 1 Brentford against Aston Villa. 95 minutes gone. We're just waiting for the referee to blow the whistle to take us through to the next round of the cup. And there it is. It's all over. That was absolutely amazing, boys. Good win. And if you liked that, don't forget to like the video and subscribe and leave any constructive comments down below. And we'll have a look at the schedule. And I think we'll come back for probably the Blackburn and Luton games towards the end of the month of November. See how we're getting on then. That's it from me today. And I'll see you next time.